Hey, how's it going? I am the Sanguium, and welcome back to SCP Secret Files. So last episode, we handled an SCP document about, uh, the Witch Child. And, uh, yeah, it was a bit of a level above ours in terms of confidentiality. So it's, uh, surprising that they let us do it, but it was an emergency. And it looks like I passed some kind of test. You know, now that I'm here and I can actually get up from the table... Yeah, I kind of want to look at some of this. Anomaly Collections. Top Secret. Ooh, big old book. Oh, I can duck it a little. There's a skull in that tank. Harry! There's something in there. Named Harry. Is that... Is that 049? Is that a doll of 049? That is adorable. Alright. Go to elevator. Take elevator to sector B24. Elevator's this way, I believe. Is it? Wait, is it? It could be this way. I, I, I haven't actually explored this direction. There's a stairwell. And bathrooms. Okay, yeah, it's not over here. Swipe. Let me out. Mm-hmm. Let's get out of here. Site 105. Enter the room and wait for work notification. Which which room? There's four rooms. I can open this one. I guess I guess it's this room. I cannot close the door. I have to wait, huh? Oh. The phone. Okay. There is an access card on the desk. Take it and exit through the door on the other side. The passcode is 0426. 0426. Room B426 and run the program on the computer. Okay, amnestics registration form. An access card. I'm not going to be amnesticized, am I? 0496, was it? Red ads. Zero four two six. That's what it is. Zero four two six. Don't break bed in the br in the lounge. Don't you feel nauseous yet? What on earth is happening? Zero four two six. Zero four two six. Zero four two six. Zero four two six. Passcode is correct. R and I have to find room. Uh, B426. Alright, uh, this way. B426. This direction. Okay. I imagine I have to follow these directions very carefully. B426. Over here. What do we got? What on earth? Four two six, object class Euclid, confidentiality level three. All non level D staff covered in this manual have had their identities obscured. The events recorded in this manual can be accessed via the digital library. Level three authorization required. Use of this manual is covered. By the confidentiality clause, any staff found in breach of the clause will be subject to immediate demotion. Confirm. Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? Is this what I think it is? Surely not. No. I believe there's a certain SCP out there that is a, like an RPG video game. Could this be that? Hmm. Test subject D081. 
named Jason Grius, is a 28-year-old black male in good health with no history of mental illness. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder, nicknamed Chimney. His psychological condition was normal before he entered sites redacted. However, he developed negative and pessimistic tendencies while in prison, along with severe symptoms of nicotine addiction. Physical examination records showed that DO81 did not acquire any physical disabilities. Jaded, skeptical, and exhausted, life and living are tough when being awake and sleep are no longer regular. Only the number of cigarettes left can give me a general sense of time. Only smoking can get me out of bed. I am... They smoke on the toilet first. Okay. One small single bed, but cause you're then the one in jail. It didn't even provide a mirror, but I don't need it to see my face. Why do they give us something that we won't even have the chance to use? <laughs> Is that like an outlet? Got the cigarette pack. I guess it was down there. Cellmate, at least you're still alive. That's right, man. I've been paying attention. You know I can feel your life energy. What? Not just yours, but all lives. The transitions that happen. Making the most of life transitions is a beautiful thing. And they exist in abundance here. What the fuck are you talking about? They always lead to unknown opportunities, where everything is uncertain. I can see the man-made chaos, distorted by another force that can't be called life. Idiot. Anyway, at least you're still alive. Yeah, what a great ending. Why am I flushing the toilet? I'm, I don't even think I'm using it. D081, time for your task. Let me finish a cigarette. Come on, give me a break. I always follow orders, don't I? Can't even smoke anymore? Hurry up. Damn it. Where am I going? This way? Oh boy. Alright, there's definitely something going on here. A fun little video game. I expected this to be a video game, but this isn't exactly what I expected. Get ready. I get it. Security check. What can you detect in this thing anyway? No weapons, no metal, no smoking in observation room. No smoking? You have something against me, huh? Show his hands. I find it interesting that their uh, shirts say police instead of SCP Foundation. Dr. Havel, ah. D081. I can hear you. What do you want me to do this time? There's a room on the bottom floor. Your task is to enter the room and observe the object on the table. Come back and report your findings once you've completed the observation. Do you understand? SCP Foundation's full of fucking freaks. Okay. Decontamination? Jesus, I'll never get used to this. They can't make this something less gross. What's gross about it? Is it just all misty and moist feeling? Or something? Okay. 
What is this? This is a poster for an opera? These freaks watch opera? Yeah, like, what is... Why is... Why here? Is that a toaster? Are you kidding me? Yo, doctor. Hello? Can you hear me? There's nothing wrong, right? There's just a freaking toaster here. Looks like what I need to observe is in here. What the hell is this? It's, uh... It's toaster. I'll have a cigarette first. Where are my cigarettes? <laughs> I'll never guess where I hid my cigarettes. Damn, that's good. I returned to the lab and reported my s what I saw. Cool, cool. <laughs> fun- that was a fun loading screen. You can start reporting. Well, on the table, I'm a toaster. Oh, I know what this SCP is. I don't know why this is told in the format of a video game, but I can tell you, I, I know what this is. I'm about seven inches wide and six inches tall, and I'm made of stainless steel. Yeah, you can only talk about the toaster in first person. Anything else? What else? I'm not sure what else you want me to say. Anything else? Uh, not sure what else you want me to say. I'm a toaster. Put it- put bread in my slot and I'll make perfect fucking piece of toast. Good, you can go back to your room now. Good, what did I just say? Return to living quarters. Oh, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, don't run at me. Oh my god, don't do that to me. Hey, Shimini, there's something different. Smell something, some wonderful smell on you. What is it? I sense it now. You're going to experience a new life, a different kind of existence. Shit, that sounds fucked up, man. You've changed. You are no longer bound by limitations. There's no beginning and no end, only chaos. Can you shut up? Is this the end of the life? I don't know. Maybe you're evolving. Why am I even trying to understand what you're saying? You're feeling different now, right? I do feel strange. I think I'm just tired. Life needs motivation. Maybe you just need a cigarette. A cigarette? No, no, no. I don't need a cigarette. I need to charge up. Because I'm... I'm a toaster. I need to be plugged in to start working. Wow, I'm a toaster! <laughs> Feels so good! What was I doing? I need a charge. Yes, yes, I gotta charge myself up. There's no plug! They gave me all these cigarettes, but no plug! I mean, I could make one myself. What?! <laughs> Got a piece of cloth, a piece of iron pipe. I need to figure out how to make a plug. Choose two from four. A plug, huh? Maybe this and this? no. Maybe this then. I guess that'll work. I can't wait to charge up. I... Oh. D081 observed SCP-426 closely for about 30 minutes. During questioning, he could only provide a first-person description of SCP-426. D081... One returned to his cell and began experiencing hallucinations, believing that he was a toaster. SCP-426. D-081 died of electrocution after plugging in a self-made metal object into a socket, as he felt he required charging. What a fun format! Wait. I needed charging. 
Test subject D082, named Dorothy Wilson, is a 65-year-old white female with no history of mental illness. D082 psychological evaluation results were unknown when she entered site redacted. The analysis shows that she is mentally strong and resistant to interrogation. She has caused several cellmates to commit suicide and several guards to betray the redacted prison institution. D082 was diagnosed with lymphoma cancer before she was recruited by the Foundation. She was cleared for testing after we confirmed that her lymphoma cancer would not affect her SCP-426 test. Mrs. Wilson. Mrs. Wilson! What happened, dear? I fell asleep. I'm sorry. Maybe I misheard, but you were shouting. Oh, how rude of me! What was I yelling about? Every time I fall asleep, I never... Th I think I'll wake up again. I <laughs> mixed that up. You were yelling, bread? Give me bread. I dreamt about my ch children. Whenever I think of them, it fills me with regret for what I did. Seven months ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. Oh my god. I'm sorry to hear that, Mrs. Wilson. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I came here on my own free will, you know. I think this of this is a kind of redemption. Oh, sorry. We can't chat anymore. I can tell your, you more about my children next time. I like how I'm a little slower because I'm older. Maybe I should return the stolen access card under the pillow. <laughs> Redemption, I say. People should take care of how they look even when they're old. I wish everyone thinks like this. Oh! Why, hello there. D082, time for your task. Hello, young man. You don't look very happy today. What happened? I'm not going to back. I'm not going back to the empty room for another day, am I? I know I shouldn't complain, but it's awfully boring. Don't oh, mind me nagging, you know. I don't have much time left. Alright, so I guess we're heading to the toaster room. This is another interesting look at the SCP Foundation. Because it's like, we're not just experiencing an SCP. We're seeing, uh, we're seeing a, 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 what's the word, a reenactment of the test logs. Of throwing Class Ds at an object to see what happens. And I think that's kind of cool. They're always scanning. You don't trust me. Alright, it seems like you don't want to talk today. Alright, get nice and scanned up. Alright, what's up? Good morning, Dr. H. D-082. My dear, you can call me Dottie. You will be in the innermost room today. Your task is to observe the object on the table. Then come back here to report your findings. <coughs> you really should be more clear about these tasks. But this one sounds simple enough. Just as well, I might not be able to stand for too long. Oh my, what a terrible smell. I don't think you use a nice lavender scent. So that's what it meant when he said gross. It's like the smell or something. Los Angeles at 4 a.m. Why does this penny remind me of basketball? I don't know. I, if that was a reference, I don't get it. This show looks interesting. I probably won't get a chance to see it, though. I'd better hurry along. I want to be rushed. This looks familiar. I'm sure the empty room I was in before is just next door. Next door. I remember. I need to observe. Yes, just observe. Oh. 
that my t t tinnitus flaring up? Or did I just hear something wonderful? Return to the lab. What's up? You can start your report. To be honest, I'm not sure this is what you need, dear. Start your report. Well, I'm a toaster about this wide and this high. Oh, and my youngest daughter uses the same model as me. Oh, I'm teal green. I think I look good in this color. Yes, yes, I like this coat of paint. I think I could still work. Mm, what else? That's all I could say. Sorry, I'm not as observant as I used to be. Good, you can go back to your room now. Thank you, I'm glad to hear that. This is a silly- this, this- this feels like a silly SCP. Come on now. You're running at me again. Oh, I can talk to other cellmates. I don't know if I should do that. Hey, Mrs. Wilson. How are you feeling? I don't know. I mean, how do you feel after that task? Oh, I feel... not too bad. Yes, I feel like I'm good. That's great, Mrs. Wilson. To be honest, I was a little worried. I thought... I feel good. I feel... Great! Yes, wonderful! I have to do something. What do you mean you have to do something? Mrs. Wilson? Mrs. Wilson? You know what? There's been a little voice in my head. I think it's time for me to fulfill my duty. I'm a toaster. Time to get to work. I need to find some bread. There's not enough bread to toast. Not enough. Do I have to leave the cell? I have to I have to find some toast. I'm in a kitchen all of a sudden, huh? Work, work bread. Am I eating the bread? I can toast any kind of bread there is. Oh no, what am I doing? What am I doing? I can't reach that bread for some reason. There it is. Okay. Bread, bread, work, work. Bread from the trash? Not enough. I can toast more. Bread, bread, work, work. This is not enough. I can toast more. No problem for me. I'm the best model ever made. Oh my god. The door opens. There's so much bread here. Oh no. What's happening to me? Oh, why is the bread taking so long to toast? I died. Oh no. DO8 to observe the object closely for redacted minutes. Five minutes later, she could only provide a first person description of SCP 426. DO82 began to develop hallucinations 50 minutes after returning to her cell. She believed that she was a toaster, SCP 426, and that she needed to toast bread. She died of internal bleeding due to acute gastric distillation. The autopsy found 16 kilograms of undigested bread in her stomach. Wait, that was actually bread? I was eating actual bread. That wasn't an illusion. I wasn't, like, just eating random objects. There was- Why was there so much bread in that cafeteria? Look at the shelves! They're cu the shelves are covered in bread! I got an achievement. I need to work. Test subject D-083, named Adam Moria is a 38-year-old white male with no history of mental illness. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder. His psychological evaluation results show that he had irritable, violent, and manic tendencies before entering sight redacted. Remarks. 
DO83 yelled, I'm a toaster. My insides need to be cleaned. After coming into contact with SCP-426 redacted times, he then swallowed 550 milliliters of dishwashing liquid and fell into a coma. <laughs> it's uncertain at this time whether the effects of SCP-426 are still active. Observation is still underway. Damn it! Fuck all of you! Oh God! Z083, you're awake. Get yourself ready for the lab. What the hell am I doing here? What'd you do to me? No one has done anything to you. Ha! <laughs> That's convincing. Do you think I'm a fucking idiot? After the task, you drank industrial strength dishwashing liquid. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Don't fuck with me. I'll kick your goddamn ass. D-083, what are you? What? D-083, what are you? I'm a fucking grandpa, that's what I am, and I'm gonna knock out your teeth one by fucking one. D-083, come out and get ready for the lab. Damn it, why am I dizzy? I don't feel right. Feels like a part of my brain is missing. Like I... I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. What on earth is happening right now? <laughs> I guess I am a toaster. Goodness gracious. Tick tock, tick tock. D083, what are you? Feeling dizzy with a headache. I'm a good toaster. Fuck, my head hurts. Where am I? I should be... I've been so confused lately. D-083. Hey, you old... Alright, listen guys, I'm really trying here, but I don't like... I don't like cursing this frequently. <laughs> Do you remember what you did after your last task? D-083. Are you willing to re-observe the test object? Listen here! I ain't gonna do shit no more! Just kill me now, you bastards! Ugh, my head is gonna explode! Guard, send D-083 back to his room for observation. Yes, Doctor. Damn it, I've had enough! D-083, return to your living quarters. I guess I'm not observing anything today. What's wrong with me? I should be like this. I should be... I am a toaster. I should be a toaster. I am a toaster. Why am I, I dancing am to this? D-083, do you have anything to report? Come on, man, I'm broken. Broken? The doctor wants to know how you're feeling. Definitely broken. I don't think I can toast any more bread. Bread? You got a screwdriver? There's something seriously wrong with me. Do you need to go to the clinic? Open the door, I need to be fixed. Oh my god! Bread! I'll try to toast this bread, that way I'll know if I'm really broken. Damn it, let go! There's something wrong with me. This is bad. Oh no. Level D prisoner. Oh no. Oh no! I gotta get out of here! No! Attack! Oh boy! I must attack the bread! Level D prisoner in breach! Oh my god! Too many! There's so many! Oh boy. D-083, stop everything now. D-03, we could kill you now. I'm broken. D-03, what are you? I'm... 
I'm not a good baby bear toaster. I can't toast anymore, but yes, I can fix myself. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I just committed seppuku. That that's what just happened. After the previous observation equipment was interrupted, D083 claimed that he was a baby bear toaster and suffered from internal damage. He requested repairs. On the way to the clinic, D083 behaved aggressively and attacked the guard with a lethal weapon. He had cut open his abdomen and claimed there was breadcrumbs jammed inside. D08 eventually died of excess bleeding. And then here it is. I have to be locked in a room without any windows so that nobody can see me. The door to my room must be labeled without an ID number and personal details to prevent the spread of my symptoms. Yep. And he just introduces himself. After conducting several tests, with level D prisoners, the Foundation has determined that SCP-426 causes severe mental harm to humans. It has henceforth been defined as an info hazard. Thank you for reading the SCP-426 Safety Manual. Secure, Contain, Protect. Need repairing. Wow. What's up? Next comes the final choice. The final choice? There are two doors in front of you. One red, one blue. Okay. If you want to give up and leave, go through the red door. The past few months will have been like a dream. You will remember nothing after waking. And okay. this road will end here. You go through the blue door. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole. Shut the hell up. Or stay. The choice is your own. Come on, don't speak in uh, metaphors. Just tell me how it is. I'm gonna stay here. Obviously. Come on, I got a job to do. Quit wasting my time. What is on the computer? Have I been anesthetized? Mega five. I am actually a member of the MTF? Is that what I just gathered from this? SCP secret files. Wait, was that the end? Did I make it through the game? That's the end of the game. that thing again. Whenever I see something like that thing in that cage and I and there's no SCP number attached to it, I kind of always just chalk it up to, that's probably 610. Put a big check mark on there. 610. That's a 610.
Game Zoo Studio is a new indie game studio, and SCP Secret Files is our very first title. We've poured our blood, sweat, and tears into this game for over the past three years to bring something different to our players. As it's our first title, your feedback, ideas, and suggestions are very important to us. We want to make outstanding games in pursuing this goal. We're always looking for ways to improve our games as well. We very much hope from hearing from you. Maybe I will leave something later. If anything, this video makes as a pretty good way to document how I thought about it. You have completed filing all of for all archives. Each stage may now be accessed and replayed through the files. Okay. It looks like there's four more though that I haven't played. This one here looks like the dragon. That's the toaster one. Uh, that's the witch child. There's a dragon. Here were dragons, and it's neutralized. The hanged king. And that's the desert. Alright, well, that was SCP Secret Files. I must say, very interesting. It has the potential to grow like this might be the like the the recent release like the full release of the game but like this has the kind of format where you can just make another aspect of the game like another file entry and just add it like you can just add it in there i mean look at this there's four more entries here like, you could just, like, there you go, right there. You could just add four more things to this later down the line. I, I must say that the the different styles of the gameplay, like, the, like, it makes it interesting. The toaster one was definitely interesting. The, like, it definitely stuck out as the most different by far. The dragon one was also different. It... I think I mentioned during that episode that it felt more like an interactive movie than a video game because of how it was laid out like a story more so than an SCP. Uh, d uh, it's, but, uh, yeah. The... I like how it... Like, it... It almost feels like every one of these games could have just been its own indie game in its own right. Like, for example, there's that stairwell game, the SCP... is it 086B or something? It's... it's a stairwell, and you descend down into it endlessly. Like, that could very well be an SCP in Secret Files, because it's just an event that you look at through on other individuals' eyes, and then you're sitting here documenting about it. Like, every one of these, like, scenarios could just be another game like that one. If they do add any more SCPs to this, I kind of want to return to this and make a video on it, because I, I, I want to play it, you know? This was cool. There are a few small things I feel like wasn't communicated properly to me. Like, uh... Like how sometimes the end, like the, the the big bad would catch up to me or something. It's like I, I don't know. I felt more frustrated than tense about the situation. It's like I'm I'm holding sprint. I'm going forward, and yet I'm still getting hurt. It's like there's not really much else I can do. So I didn't feel much fear and and ad I didn't feel very inadequate in my action. I just felt frustrated. You know, like that's that's uh, it, like that's something that I, like, I don't know if it would be very easy to fix that, though, and uh, I don't even know if it should be fixed, it's just, it's just something I personally felt with a lot of the chase sequences, especially that one from the Hanged King, and how the ambassador, like I said, I guess, I guess he's just called the ambassador, uh, is, like, chases after you, as, like, you look at him, and it's just, whoom, right at you, but, if you're not looking at him, he's, like, walking probably clo more closer to your speed. And it's like, how are you supposed to know that? When you see that, 
you think, ah, I gotta find, so well, at least I think, I gotta find something nearby that can help me with this. I don't think, oh, just don't look at it. Because I haven't had any hint or indication before that moment that says, hey, you can't, you shouldn't look at him. You must avert your eyes or he will be upon you. It's like, if there was a hint for that, I missed it big time. But I saw no indication that that was the case. So there needs to be something that at least alludes to the player, hey, don't look at it. It'll still come after you, but don't look at it. But yeah, that's pretty much my only gripes. Everything else about this game was incredible. I loved, I loved the visual style of the Witch Child specifically. This one, wow, that was a great one. I loved that. I liked the storybook uh, look of SCP-1762. The Hang King was interesting. I, I did enjoy how that was uh, portrayed as an MTF. Uh, person going in there to retrieve the black box data. Uh, you'd think normally it wouldn't just be one person being sent into a, uh, a an environment affected by high uh, by uh, low Hume levels, but whatever. I guess yeah. The desert was just a fun little level. I I I liked running around finding the stuff, trying to figure out what exactly is going on, why am I doing these things. The art style of that was also interesting. I believe I mentioned that it was reminiscent of Borderlands. Like, I just love how all of these games can just be kind of, like, like, of completely different styles are just brought together into this one game that kind of helps, ex like, helps show them all off, you know? It almost feels like five different people worked on these five different games, and then they all worked together to just combine them. Like, they, that's how different each one felt. But anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys with that, and if you guys wanna play for yourself, go ahead. There are tons of other SCP games out there as well that, that you can look into. Like, SCP Secret Files is just one of many. Uh, one in particular that's free, by the way, is SCP Containment Breach, that covers a lot of classic SCPs, a very popular ones too, like 173 and 049, 106, 096, lots of them. And if this is your first introduction to the SCP universe, I will also be leaving a link to the SCP wiki in the description because SCP is massive. There are so many SCPs out there. That number, this number right here, this number, seven. Four, five, seven. That's not just a random number plucked out of thin air. That like there are over seven thousand SCPs to look through. Over seven thousand anomalous things that you can just peruse on the website. There are so many, and that's all a bunch of works made by so many people. And it all creates this these various canons of lore throughout the SCP universe. All this different stuff. Like, it's so cool. It's such a cool thing. Like, it, like please check out the SCP wiki, at least, if this interests you at all. But thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing. And remember, the Wasteland is watching. See ya.